Hello and welcome to this FIFA 18 Arjun Robin review. This was the team that I've used them in. I was playing him as a left striker in a 4-1-2-1-2 Bundesliga slash Premier League hybrid. Obviously he was only on 7 chem while playing this game, but it doesn't make too much of a difference overall to the stats and I felt that he could get involved a lot more playing as a left striker rather than as a left winger. Robin currently costs about 105k on Xbox and about 127k on PlayStation. I paid 110 on Xbox a few days ago so his price seems relatively stable for now. Arjen Robin has 86 pace, 86 shooting, 81 passing, 90 dribbling, 32 defending and 63 physical. His 5 foot 11 has high low work rates and is left footed with 4 star skill moves and his famous 2 star weak foot. In 7 games playing for me he scored 10 goals and provided 3 assists for his teammates. Looking more in depth at his attributes, the ones that stick out the most are just how well rounded he is in terms of attacking with high pace, shooting, passing and dribbling. His dribbling sticks out as the obvious high. 90 dribbling on the card stat makes him the 6th best non-icon dribbler in the game and it definitely feels just as good in-game due to how well balanced the category is. 89 agility, 91 balance, 87 reactions, 89 ball control, 92 dribbling and 86 composure means that he feels amazing to dribble with. His shooting is also a massive bonus to this card and it's why I chose to play him as a 7 chem striker. He's got great shooting all around with 85 finishing. 88 long shots and 87 shot power and I played him with a Hunter chem style to boost his shooting and his pace even more to make him more of a threat. Hunter's definitely the chem style I recommend whether you're using him as a winger or a striker as it makes his shooting lethal and he doesn't need the dribbling boost from a chem style such as engine. That first clip we just saw showed him scoring with his right foot but that really was a one off. The two star weak foot really is noticeable and although he does have the avoid using a weaker foot trait, sometimes you do have to take extra care to ensure that he does not try and use his terrible right leg. Not only would this be advised because his right foot's so terrible, but it's also advised just because of how amazing his left foot really is. Something that I found a lot of the time with this card is if it found itself in a shooting position on his left foot, then it was more often than not either a goal or a shot requiring a great save from the goalkeeper. We see here a great example of the dribbling skills that this card possesses. The opposing team takes a kickoff and Robin intercepts it on the halfway line before effortlessly dribbling his way past four players before smashing the ball left footed past the goalkeeper. It's this kind of close dribbling control combined with the speed dribbler trait that help makes him just so great as it's easy to just weave in and out of players without requiring any spectacular skill moves or anything, just due to the pace and agility that he possesses. A lot of the goals that I scored with this card were finesses, so it was surprising to realise that he does not have the finesse shot trait, but looking at his stats you can see why I thought he did. 87 curve means that he can really get a bend on his shots and this is great for being able to nestle the ball right in the corner past the goalkeeper. As mentioned, he does have the speed dribbler and avoids using weaker foot traits, but he also has long shot taker, which is nice when partnered with his base 88 long shots and 87 shot power and really makes him a menace from distance. Despite being 5 foot 11, one thing I would have to say about this card is that it just really is not a threat in the air. 61 jumping and 51 heading accuracy means you can not rely on his shiny bald head to score you any goals from set pieces or crosses. So if you're going to be playing him as a striker, I recommend partnering him with an aerial threat such as I did when I played him next to Morata. Despite me playing him as a striker, he definitely would work well as a winger as well, especially one that's there to get you goals rather than assists. He certainly can cut inside from the right, but be aware that if you're using Robin, your opponent will definitely know what you're trying to do with him when you start a mazy run in from the right wing, and this makes you easier to defend as a result. In addition to this, he doesn't work too well as a traditional winger who crosses the ball in, as despite his 80 crossing not being too bad, the fact that you have to ensure his cross is coming off of his left foot makes it a bit harder to fashion chances as easily as you would have hoped. His high low work rates and lack of any defensive skills means that although his card may say right midfielder, he should definitely not play as one, and if anything, I'd recommend playing him as a right forward in a 4-3-2-1 if you want to play him at full cam. This card is not too easy to link in due to the lack of other great Dutch options in other leagues, but with the improvements to players such as Thiago this year and signings of players like Taliso for Bayern, it makes it a lot easier to hybrid Robin into another team. Overall, the main pros of this card are definitely his left foot and dribbling. He's a great dribbler and his lethal left foot can lead to him scoring a lot of goals for your ultimate team. Although he only has 86 pace on his card, he feels a lot quicker in game, probably due to the speed dribbler trait, and so pace is definitely another pro. Despite me not mentioning it so far, his 4 star skills are obviously another plus and can help you beat a man. His biggest con is just his right foot. It's almost completely unusable and makes him a bit harder to use than the player with decent weak foot. He's also very one dimensional as a result of this and a lot of your attacks will end up looking the same if you're using Robin. Not to say that this is a bad thing, but it can make him a bit easier to defend against. Also, he's quite weak and his physical is low, so whereas someone like Marnie has the dribbling and the physical, Robin only has the dribbling and can get pushed off the ball by a lot of players.
You should use Robin if you like to cut inside a lot. There's probably no one better in the game at doing that and sending a shot past the goalkeeper into the far post. If you need a Bundesliga winger or a left striker, he should definitely be at the top of the list and also get him if you just like dribbling a lot and want to use a player who's an elite level dribbler but considerably cheaper than a lot of other options around him. Overall, I would rate Robin an 8 out of 10. He'd definitely be higher if not for the weak foot though and I believe that if you have about 100k to your name and you need an elite player then there's no one better than Robin for the price. He's easily good enough to use in foot champions and definitely gets my seal of approval if you can use him effectively. Thanks for watching this review of Arjun Robin. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any other players you'd like to see me review, please just leave a comment down below. And if you liked the video and want to see more just like it, then please subscribe. That's all for now though, and I'll see you next time. Bye!